If that's who you with, congratulations, Caesar. Thank you. I will definitely allow you to take over any of the bull I've had to deal with in my life. That's the mother true hug gonna come out in about give a 90 day. Nah, 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 listen. 90 day probation period. Well, I'm gonna stay out of that one. Yeah, I'm gonna try to stay out of that one too. Oh, so Carly thinks she's slick. My presence is no longer needed, people. I ain't gonna knock my man Caesar. She can have Mr. Milk Dud and that little needle on his tattoo gun. Cause I'm a big dog over here. And my needle go deep. Deuces. O'Shea and I been kicking it strong for a minute now, so I decided that it was time that he met my people, which is Carly and her new boo job, and we linked up so me and my boo O'Shea could whoop their butts in some bowling. My boy had to get his sexy Hell. on the bowl. My new man is heaven sent. He's so different from Scrappy, it's crazy. O'Shea doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model, and he has a banging body. And best of all, we don't have any drama. He's just what I need in my life right now. Oh, God. Oh! That's good, though. That's how they do. You know, that's how sexy dudes do. That's, <laughs> that's what they do. There's no hate in my blood. But the homie O'Shea, man, he just <laughs> takes off his damn shirt like, yeah, I'm fine. But then he got the nerve to have the damn hat on O'Shea, the model. That's like me wearing a hat. It's like, young jock. The rap. I'm really not a vindictive bitch by nature. I'm just a mother who wants her family back together, and that means KD has to go. KD wants proof. I'm gonna give her some. Mm -hmm. What's up? I ain't seen Cena since the last time she kind of showed her ass at the studio session or whatnot. I had to get up out of there because, man, it was getting kind of hectic. The kids aren't here. They're at the sitters. Everybody's gone. It's just me and you. Just wanted to talk. Hold on, I got something else for you. Hold on. I'm starting to feel like, OK, maybe I need to get up off this sofa and get my ass back to the crib, KD. <laughs> this little voice is in the back of my head like, y'all get your ass up and go. Run, run, my son, run. So, what are you down here doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I wanted to put on something more comfortable. Seen ah. her come down like she doing a full spread for Victoria's Secret. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what you got going on. Oh, you want me to take it off? I ain't, them your words, not mine. I'll show you. I'll see you. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Jock is like a little puppy. All he needs is a little treat, and he'll come running. <laughs> um, oh my God, that one turn up on my Look at the way out. Look at that. It's only so much that a man could take. You want a little chocolate dip toe? You want to dip a little toe? You want to dip a little toe? <laughs> I want to dip a little touch. Mm. 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 Hey, Katie. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll strap up. You ready? Here we go. Single Dana. You look like you weren't going to the studio. You I was coming to the studio. What? What? Cena pops up at the studio out the blue. And I'm like, damn, she looking good in them jeans. We need to take this out here. Let's finish you talking. You up your session. That's awesome. Now I just want to, you know, get you out of here. Eat some cake? What else you brought out there? What else you got out there? That's it, just me and the pound cake. Jock and I get along great. But the bottom line is, I want more than just a friendship. I want my family back together, period. Where are we going with this? We're always flirting with each other. I mean, the like. Yeah, I just miss being in the studio with you. I do. I like to support Jock in any way I can. He wanted to go back into the studio, so I'm helping him pay for some sessions. 
I usually leave Jock alone when he's in the studio, but today I haven't been able to reach him for a couple of hours. So I figured I'd stop by and check on my investment. I know how you feel about me. I know how I feel about you. I just want to know where we are. Listen. What's up? Hey, Cena. Hello. I was trying to reach you a couple of times. I couldn't reach you. I know. Cena so stopped by, have a talk with me. I don't need you to explain while I'm here. You're welcome here. You're a part of his family. I know. He's our common denominator. Last time these two ladies were in the same room together, things just didn't go too well. I mean, KD found me at Cena's house, man. It just, yo, you would've thought World War III broke out, you know what I'm saying? But today, KD rolls up kind of cool and professional and calm. I'm thinking, maybe I'm in the clip. If you respect your lane and you respect my lane. I know my lane, you should respect your lane. Which one's my lane? I don't know what your lane is. This is a perfect time we for you to tell her what the things that you do with me. Why don't you tell her how it really is between us? Out of nowhere, things start to go left. I want it to be clear. Yeah, let's be clear. The role that you play in my life and the things that transpire, like her thinking that she could come to my house. I've had an issue with KD ever since she got with Jock and broke up our family. But when she came to my house disrespecting me, banging on my door, going crazy outside creating a scene, looking for her man, oh. I've been done. Does your girl know that we still smash her? Yo, I swear that came out like, oh, we're smashing, smashing, smashing. Yo, that had an echo on it, yo. I was like, no, don't say that. When was the last time you had sex with her? This is all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I have sent a lot of mixed signals, and I did some things that I ain't had no business doing. Okay, I may have crossed that line a time or two. But I'm not about to sit up here and admit to that. You need to get her out of here. Can we just step outside? No. I just want you to chill. No, I'm, no it's a I'm, yes. That's how you're going to treat me. I'm being no. calm. No. I'm no. saying facts. And she can't handle the motherfucking facts. That's how he's trying to save you. you. Is what he's trying, trying to do. He's not trying to save I'm me from saying. nothing, bitch. What the f you think you are, Duck? You better check this bitch. Hold on, hold on. Let's go. Don't try to put me out. Let me get my. Oh. Don't try to put me out. Yes. Yeah, what's up, man? How was your day? It's good, what's up? After Cena showed up with her nonsense, I believe I have every right to be mad at Jock. But this time, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna kill him with kindness and remind him of everything he's got right here at home. I was just kind of in the mood for us to do something a little bit different tonight. Like what? I'm gonna tie you up. <laughs> you won't tie me up. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to try new things, you know what I mean? But. <laughs> Just for the record, this is the first time that Jock has ever been strapped down with a Jock strap. Mm -hmm. I say, let me out this shit. You gotta let me out this shit. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> mm. I have a nice little outfit I wanna go put on for you. You want something to drink before I come back? See, I'm good. You got my arms a little tight, my little. It's all right. You don't need your arms. I'm gonna do everything you need. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on with the women in my life. Like, just like out the blue, they just like crazy aggressive. First Cena, now I could deal. This may be something I can get used to. I'll be right back. I really don't know how I feel laying here all tied up and stuff. I mean, the vulnerability is just way too much for me, but I'm pretty sure KD gonna make it worth my while. Kadia! Yes, baby. I think you got this too tight on my arms, man. I have been thinking about you all day today. I made a lot of special that things so good. for oh. you. One nice strawberry. One more. <laughs> You got your shell in my mouth, though? I just wanted you to eat it. I was kind of a little off guard today at work. OK. Your baby mama number four came to my office, and she showed this to me. Does that look familiar? Stuck <laughs> <laughs> toes now? 
No. Oh my goodness, you's a nasty. I should have known all this old extra ooh baby. I long dead work. I'm gonna put something on you. Sex was not real. I mean, Cena could have just been like, you know what? I had your man. And then maybe I could have talked my way out of it. Nah. Video evidence? That's a setup. That's entrapment. Oh, she gonna hear it from me. You better believe Cena gonna hear it from me. That's if I can ever make it up out of here alive. You know what I'm saying? I'm like stuck. Michael Jackson. Katie, let me out of here. See. Turn this off in the hoop me so I can explain this to you. You no, want to do it, but you don't want to see it. But I didn't do nothing. You, you didn't do I mean, I did that. I didn't go all the way, though. I, baby, now. I think she put something in my drink. Ain't no way in hell Cena drugs you. If you really think I'm stupid enough to believe that, you got another thing coming. I got something for you, Jock. The night is young. What you doing with that? I'm gonna teach you a lesson. No, don't teach you. Because you embarrass me today. Hey. You allow her to come to my office hey, I promise. and embarrass I me at nothing. my place I didn't of know business. She was coming to your office, oh, baby. no, but you set it up. You let hey. it happen. Hey. Baby, come on, man. Quit for real? Stop. Are you serious? Was anybody there to tell you to stop? No. When you were. Sucking holy oh, girl. You know when was the last time me and you did strawberries and chocolate? You remember? No. I don't either. That's the point. I don't either. I went completely diary of a mad black woman on Jock's ass. I've been good to you. I've been so good to you. Dear, please. Uh, I've been by your side. Can you please? Like since we've been together in this world that you've created. Okay. I'm sorry. Like, you tricked me so good that I'm turned on by it. This is why I never want to be strapped down by no woman, ever. Just don't kill me. What are you doing? You're not finna leave me. Yes, I am. Oh, you're not, oh, you're not finna oh, leave I'm me. I'm taking a break. I, 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 did not go, I did not go all the way with it. I left. You didn't go all the way with it. I didn't, baby. Just let me go. So you gonna go where? Back to Cena house? No. Baby mama number four? Man, you'll never touch my damn lips again. It's a really sick little twisted little space in my head that's got me like, damn, Katie, this was the sexy shit you ever did. You look a little thirsty. No, stop, Kadeel. <sighs> you know what? I still love you, though. When you get loose, call me, maybe I'll answer. Stop playing. Kay, man, hey, don't, hey, okay. Don't walk out that door. He done kicked me out. Me and Cena ain't rocking the least Kirk and Rashida could do is just let a brother get a little piece while I'm crashing on their sofa, you feel me? So what are you doing in here on my damn couch? I was sleeping. You've been sleeping hard as hell. It's cool for a day or two. After two, it's Rashida, gonna be like You act like I've been here for a week. I mean, damn near. I mean, damn, I, I ain't been here but a couple days while I'm trying to figure out what my next step gonna be. Have some compassion, Rashida. You know, I'm a broken man over here. So what's up? Why So why don't you want to be at home? Well, me and Katie, you know, we kind of, we, we ain't really rocking right now. She like threw me out the house. Like me and her, she decided we were just gonna, gonna go our separate ways, man. So when you left KD, where did you go? I went to see this house. I, I know, I, I know, I know. Jock, you can't go back to your kids' moms when you're having a problem with your girl. You're never gonna have a peaceful relationship, not with KD. You, as a man, have to make that decision to shut that down with your kids' moms. You can't keep doing that. Jock knows this bouncing back and forth between his women ain't cool. But the only reason he do it is because they let him. If one or all of them got sick and tired of putting up with his mess, I bet you he'll be faithful real quick. The crazy part is I'm supposed to be meeting with KD, um, looking for some spaces for my store. Now I got to look at her and think about this your ass over here doing, and I feel like, well, damn, you need to fix this. But well, hold up. This is how we going to do it. I need you to tell her, girl, he going through it. Homeboy been sleeping on my sofa. You know, he keep talking about you, but he just, he know he messed up so bad. What? I need you. I mean, are you in love with KD and want to make it really right with her? Because if that ain't what you're trying to do, I need to stay out your business. If you help me, I can get off your sofa, dog. <laughs> well, that's going to happen anyway. <laughs> now, I don't mind helping a brother out, but he has overstayed his welcome. I need to talk to you real quick. I got 
at you. I'm back at you, bro. I'm gonna need y'all to get his personal life together real quick so he can get the hell out of here. We got kids up in here. We got unbossy up in here. I got a hundred million things to do. What the you mad at me for? I'm not mad at you yeah. about his I'm mad at you about your About what? Selling records, artists? Thirsty? Are you just going to drink up all Carter's orange juice? Oh, this Carter's? Uh, yeah. Can I get a little bit? Go ahead, Jock. Hey, what about this waffle? Who's going to eat this waffle? It's for my oh, baby. I'm gone. I can't. Go ahead, eat it, man. I can't, I, I'm good. Go ahead, eat it. Let me get some of that syrup. Excuse me. <laughs> I done got myself into a situation that I really don't even know how to handle with Jessica Dime. She fine and all that, but I still got love and loyalty to Bam. Even though she's actually moved on with a whole nother person, <sighs> I'm just finna hit the club with the homies and get my mind right. Hold up, Scrap. Um, Do you see what I see? What that? Look at who's looking at Jock. That ass is saying, come get me. No, it can't be saying, come yes, get it me. Is. No, that Jay Nick girl. Man, ain't no none of that. Jay already said what it is. Jay let us know that him and his girl was having some problems, but that ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> oh, she said, come here. You don't want these problems. That'd be too much for you. I'm just here for a night out with my boys, man. And I ain't paying no attention to Amber with that goddamn, come here, there, boy, looking ass. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on now. Jock, Jock. Man, forget all that. What you got going on? Man, I'm tripping, right? I'm still trying to get over this bound situation. Like, we really broke up this time. She like running around here decking somebody and I didn't even know it. But you know, the Betty Idol chick. Oh yeah, what happened with that? With her, but I done stopped messing with Betty because the bam, Betty Idol, she beefing with Tammy, bam, friend. But then find out Tammy the one hooked up with the dude she dating with. Oh, so you should have smashed. I'm like, wow. You single now? Yeah, I'm single, but I'm just like, <laughs> I ain't never been in this situation. Cause look, then I start, then I start hollering at Jessica Dime. You know what I'm saying? I had them FaceTime and everything. She definitely juiced up. She hit me with the, we need to go on a date. So where you gonna take her? I don't know, bro. I was thinking, I was thinking about taking her to like, he, yo, he's gone. He's over here. I was he's thinking the about the Look. I brought my homies up in here, man, to talk about all my problems and stuff like that. And this fool Jock is so googly-eyed at Jay Nitz, girl. Man, what a love. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, this, this Jessica chick, bro. Like, I'm getting cold feet, bro. I'm looking at it like I don't even know how to talk to nobody but fam. Like, I'm sitting in there. No. Oh, oh. Look who coming over there? No. Oh. What's up, y'all? What's happening? What's up, y'all? Yes, this be my guest. Jesus, be my protector. Cause here come Amber strolling over here with a thick ass. Kurt, it's Amber right here. Hey, Kurt. How you doing, Amber? How you doing? Ain't you Jay Nick's girl? Um, yeah, kind of. <laughs> We're having a little bit of issues, but... I just need another drink. I could tell she want to get down, and I'd stick it to her if I wasn't sticking to the bro code. You want to dance, Shot? I want to dance. She's going for the kill. Damn, She went for the kill. So my boy Jay Nix got us all over for a night of poker, and of course this girl Amber, she walk around the house with this little bodysuit on, looking like she just wanna. All right, yeah, I ain't gonna even, I ain't gonna go there. <laughs> Stevie came up to the station. Yeah. He didn't announce on the radio that him what? and Jocelyn what? was what? never married. Huh? What? Him and Jocelyn was never married. Oh, we knew that already. Duh. You knew that? I didn't know that. Oh, I, didn't. I didn't know that. I'm not sure why everybody believed the hype. I've known it all along. What I didn't know is, though, Jay's girl Amber acts the same way in the crib as she acts in the club. <laughs> See, look at you doing the R&B <laughs> Cut the R&B out, man. What you doing? He, he wanted to drink. Wowzers. Maybe I want to drink it for him, too. Ooh. I've been in some situations where Amber was in the club, and um, I thought that she may have been a um, a little too flirtatious. Not a little, a lot of too flirtatious. I mean, Amber, that's what she does. And for whatever reason, Jay puts up with it. Probably because he's doing his own thing too, man. I'm going to be honest, these two got a pretty strange relationship. Last time I seen you, you know what I'm saying, you were talking about to get her up. Come on, brother, got options. I see. I see. Oh, shit. Man, Amber's shaky, bro. She be doing too much flirting. I'm cool with the stripping, you know what I'm saying? But it just be too much flirt going on. You got to flirt to get the tips. Amber and I have been together for almost a year. And honestly, we just been having fun. The biggest problem with me and Amber is jealousy. Jealousy causes trust issues, and trust issues causes the fight 24-7. And who wants to deal with that? Now, me and Tiara, 
We been flirting a little bit more. She was trying to convince me to get rid of Amber, but it might be that time to cut Amber loose and see who's popping with Tiara. Here, I'll put yeah. you some more in a cup. Bro, what's up with you? Not to get bro? yours to the top. You was extra right now. To the top. Amber. Damn, $1,000 shirt. Damn, man, what was that? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Damn. Whoa. Damn. What the f is you doing, Michelle? Wow. I got a mess on him. Now, I'm pretty sure that I just seen Amber, Janie's girl, rub up on Jock Tommy. I mean, hit Tommy, shawty. You know what I'm saying? We already done seen how she get down in the strip club. Now she want to do it in front of her man? Boy, that girl got some balls on her. Why cuz always getting himself in these sticky situations? What is oh, you doing? Could've gave him a shot. That's being disrespectful. Wow. Cuz I spilled water on him? You ain't gotta wipe that man. What the wrong with you? You told me to take care of your people. At this time, my eyes are kinda opening up to different options. Cuz Amber tripping. And you know, as a man, especially we out here in Atlanta and all these women, you start opening up your eyes to find another woman that might make you a little bit more happier than the one you with. Can you blame me? You didn't goddamn pat this man. Goddamn it. Oh. Oh. Well, I haven't been patting yours if you want to get... Technically, over my thigh. She touched your thigh meat? I haven't been patting your thigh meat. And why haven't that been happening? Because somebody else has. Why don't you talk about that? Did your friends know about that? Jay's been on some about me flirting with his friends. But you're doing the exact same thing behind my back. Go back to your poker. Man, God damn. So Jay Nixon and I have been on the out. Jay and I had a serious argument the other day because he says I was flirting with his friends at the poker game. I know Jay's been out there with Tierra. Atlanta's such a small place and we all run in the same circles. So when his boy asked me to swing through the hotel, that's just what I did. Get up. It appears that today I uh, violated the bro code a bit. You know, Jay told me he was interested in Tierra, who happens to be Scrap the Young, baby mama. So, you know, I mean, hey, man, I don't really think nobody's wrong here. You know what I'm saying? He, he want to do this, he want to do that. We can all do whatever. Just everybody wear rubbers, you know what I'm saying? We be good. Last time I saw you at the poker game, you know what I'm saying? You sitting up with your man. I'm just trying to figure out how the f we ended up right here. Well, why did you tell me to come here then? Uh, what, you wanted to play Uno? Man, Amber was coming on me super hard at the poker game with the fellas. And she was doing it right in front of her man. I couldn't even focus on the card game. All I had my eyes on was Emma because she was like doing the most, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not about to start no shit with my bro Jay Nix. I mean, he was pretty pissed by the end of the night. The fight was out of control after you guys left. Why you got this on and why you stripping. But, uh, and wait, who he's messing with? The little bitch, Tierra. Tierra. Oh, you know Tierra, so you knew about the whole situation. Man, I done walked right into a situation. Hold up, I'm just trying to have fun. And I'm not about to be no pun to make somebody jealous. I mean, I slick might have bitten off more than I could chew. I get it, both of y'all doing y'all own thing or whatever, but I'm just saying, whatever y'all were, are. Not, are not. Jay, my homie, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real. So we ain't doing it no more? I mean, I ain't saying we is gonna do it no more, and I ain't saying we ain't gonna do it no more. But how you gonna tell your homie then? What you mean, how I'm gonna tell him? How you gonna tell your homie? Man, Jay and I go way back, so I gotta come clean by this Emma situation. Don't really know how I'm gonna do it, but I gotta do it. You can just not tell him. No, I don't wanna be like, Around my dude, and he like, yeah, man, I miss my bitch. and I want to be like, bro, ain't no sense of missing her, cause she don't give a fuck about you, bro. Jay Nix is not my man anymore. So you really, I don't really got nothing to worry about. So I could just tell him, like, bro, yeah, I'm Elbridge. Tell him. Well, man, goddamn, might be, he might still love you. If you thought that he really with me like that, you wouldn't be laying in the bed with me. How many y'all here rock with Jock? Make some noise. But when y'all woke up that morning and seen all them goddamn memes on the internet with my hair like that, y'all wasn't with me. I wasn't even with me the next day. Scrap, I know you know what I'm talking about. Come like goddamn Ernie and Bird beat the That's right. Your boy is also a comedian. Tonight, I'm gonna step outside of my comfort zone. I'm gonna do a little stand up. Scrappy came out. 
Tommy came out support. She brought a girl lovely Mimi. I mean, the crowd's feeling the kid. You know what I'm saying? You never know. This might be my next move. That's my time. Appreciate y'all. Now I done seen Jock do his joke before, and I ain't saying he need to just give up the music career yet, but I see improvement. And I also see a new woman on his arm. Yeah, you know I love you, girl. Right. Jock supported me at my wine taste, and now I'm supporting him while he does what he does. You know, that's what friends do for each other, but hopefully his event will be a little less drama than mine's was. You getting better. You getting yeah, better. I'm working on it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just really I mean, you a real, like, you a real, like, everything type motherfucker. You never rent a time. I'm yeah. just a new one. You dig what I'm saying? to find out through the streets that Jacques was having this little comedy show. Oh, apparently Jock got jokes. So I gathered my little crew. Now Jock has to explain to me and his baby mama Cena what's really going on with him and Tom. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm a woman, up. I'm mature. Jock, what's going on? What the f What the f And write them. Amongst the ropes, and uh, if they can f***ing control oh, themselves. Hey. What's up, Jock? Hey. Hey. I purposely didn't tell Carly about my little show tonight, but here she is with her little new squad. With Melissa like she her henchman or something, and I already know Cena here because I called ass out about Rod. So far, I've done a pretty good job of keeping Carly away from Tommy and away from Cena. But it looked like tonight my little run will come to an end. How y'all doing? What you doing? You doing Tommy day. Tonight. I'm in a happy mood. You in a hype mood, baby. Why you with Tommy the scammer? What? Tommy who? Tommy what? Tommy what? This is the moment I've been waiting for. The moment that Carly Red realizes that I can steal her man just like she tried to steal mine. So what's up with you? So, uh, I mean, I'm you chilling. see what's up with him. You see what's up with him, bitch. Disperse. Come on now, Dad. Disperse, real. bitch. You the thought that you always been, bitch. You have huh? no pull. Bitch, get the f out of here. You're a slider. You're a slider. Excuse me, Cena, the one that matters? Yes. We are familiar, right? We, we are. don't have any beef, right? We, we can don't. come over, we can talk like ladies. I'm trying to ask my baby father why he here yeah. with Take you. That's, that's what you need. They about to thump, Jack. Boom! You feel what I'm saying? You gotta watch the whole damn house crumble down. Now that's what Cuzzo Jock get for playing with that pie. You know what I'm saying? You had a bitch, she couldn't even throw hundreds at me. She throw ones. It's but very disrespectful. It's very disrespectful. Tommy the scammer! But if you was a boy. Come on, bitch. Yeah. Jump, bitch. What's that, bitch? Yeah. 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 So this is a circus clown who destroyed Sierra's marriage. Grandma ass, bitch! Me, me, me. Come on then, bitch! Come on! I never met this hoe before, so I guess it's hate by association. Well, the feeling's the same, sweetie, because you over here buddied up with the scam artist. What's up, Puff? I've never met this girl, Carly, but Tommy told me that this is the hoe that stole her man. So if Tommy is ready to wreck, bitch, I'm right here with you, bro. Most valuable hoe? This is exactly what I didn't want to happen between them two. I tried my damnedest to keep them apart. All hell done broke loose, man. I don't even know what the hell they're yelling at each other. But I tell you what, I'm looking for security to wrap this night up real quick. You did. Get, get up off me, man. Calm down. Get, get up off me, man. I'm over this <laughs> over. You're gonna make me go to check. Ladies and gentlemen, I may have overstepped my boundaries, but I got a special guest. And I wanted her to give her output on how she sees <laughs> Come on, Shirley. Wow. Let's give him a bit, and I invited her. <laughs> I have no idea what my mama is up to, but child, when Mama D involved, I'm sure it's about to be a mess. I am here tonight simply because I want to address my son-in-law. Kirk, where is he? Where is he? Where the maggot? What is going on? Okay. <laughs> like, right. For real. It looks like my coward son-in-law is too scared to show his face around town. That may be the only smart thing he's done lately. But I have something for his ass, and I'm gonna get it to him one way or another. So Kurt's friends are here, okay? I just wanna say this. Kurt has got to be one of the dumbest men on this earth. 
I don't want to dip too deep into it because I know how Rashida feels about uh, this type of thing. I do want to say this one thing. I want to say, Kirk, please get a DNA so all this stuff can be settled. Oh my God. Oh my God. You want to leave? Well, I guess that's my cue to leave. My mom is upset, of course, on my behalf right now. But she know I don't get down like this. Come on, mama, this ain't appropriate. So if she needs to get something off her chest, that's all fine and good. But as far as I'm concerned, uh-uh, I'm out. Job, scrap, this is to both of you. We all want Kirk to take the DNA test, but bringing out this DNA test on this little silver platter ain't gonna make him do it no fast. I mean, I could call Kirk, hey bro, some chicks came out with a little silver platter with a DNA test on, on the little platter. Would that convince you to take the DNA test? Hello, Kirk, hello? Tell your buddy about this. Tell him I'm coming for him so he can take that DNA. All right? Rashida is not my daughter. But if she was, I'd be fighting to find out the truth. So that's why I'm here with Miss Shirlene, rolling up the crowd, so I can get Kirk to take this DNA test. DNA, 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 DNA. DNA, 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 DNA. I haven't spoken to Jock since that crazy night at the comedy show. And after that crap he pulled with fraud ass Tommy, he does not deserve to speak to me ever again. But I feel like we got some things that's unsaid. So I told him I'm coming over just to talk. And if he knows what's good for him, he better be on his knees begging for my forgiveness. So what's up? What's up, girl? Is this what we doing? What is we doing? I'm chilling. I've been trying to lay low and really just kind of get away from all the women in my life because I thought everybody was mad at me. I Man, I still haven't heard from Tommy or Cena, but Carly Red called, she said she want to talk. But honestly, I don't know if I feel like listening. You were at the comedy show with Tommy the Scammer. I was there with Tommy, true. But you come with my baby mama, like who does that? Come on now, if I looked like how you looked with another dude, you would feel the same exact way. You want the truth? I never smashed Tommy. Okay. I honestly feel like she only really rocking with me to get back at you. Am I wrong for allowing her to get that close to where it will cause that type of effect on you? I'm wrong. I, I admit that as a man. But do I feel like me and you are 100? I really don't. I was definitely 100 with Jock when we started this course. Even though we wasn't exclusive, I thought we would at least be honest with one another. I busted him with bird ass Tommy, but clearly he could never keep it 100 with anybody. I don't know what voodoo what sh you don't put on me, but you're the only man that gets me like this. I'd rather you be honest with me than lie to me like you did before. I mean, it ain't like you tell me everything you do. You do be Because like, you know what you do? You do be sneaky with your sh card. No, let me tell you what hurts me. I just want honesty from you. I'm talking to you even as a friend. You be hurting me, dude. Like, you be hurting me. I'm tired. You have no idea. I want a man that's gonna have my back. I got your back, but you gotta stop popping up doing crazy shit. Why is you come with my baby mama? Like, that shit happened at the company show, that shit should've never happened. Carly sitting up here with these crocodile tears, running down her face, makeup looking like a landslide. Honestly, I did not set out to hurt Carly, but I couldn't have been more clear. We were not exclusive. I need you to be a man of your word. So, I'm having an event. I'm opening another freaking store in Alfred Mall. So you're gonna come to my grand opening? Yeah, I'm gonna come. Why wouldn't I come? Okay. I know that we're not in the most perfect relationship, but I'm telling you, don't me over and I won't you over. Well, this is interesting. I wasn't expecting this. My new man is Caesar, and he owns a chain of tattoo shops. We started to get real close once he decided to open Black in Atlanta. You told me that Jock over there kissing and f***ing Tommy, I had to do an upgrade. I gave Jock an award-winning performance just so I could make sure he was here tonight so he could feel how I felt when he was running the streets with trash-ass Tommy. But well, guess what, this your event? I ain't here for that. If that's who you with, congratulations, Caesar. Thank you. I will definitely allow you to take over any of the bullshit I've had to deal with in my life. <laughs> it's the mother true hug gonna come out in about 
Give her 90 days. Nah, nah, listen. 90 day probation period. Well, I'm gonna stay out of that one. Yeah, I'm gonna try to stay out of that one too. Oh, so Cardi thinks she's slick. My presence is no longer needed, people. I ain't gonna knock my man Caesar. She can have Mr. Milk Dud and that little needle on his tattoo gun. Cause I'm a big dog over here. And my needle go deep. Deuces. Nice to meet y'all. We're great. Well, congrats, Tokyo, on your album release. Thank you, appreciate it. Sorry about all my extra stuff. This is Shooter's girlfriend I was telling you about the other night. Just my little sister, Deej. Like how you're Tobias's little, 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 little big big sister? You're, that's your little brother? I got to do any of this That's my what little you, sister. What, like what? what does does Tobias have the, anything what, to you, do you with you any of this? You said that was your brother, you right? Let him you clear said, it up right now. Tobias, am, am I dealing with you? Ever dealing with you? No. Thank you. So now what? Well, I know, Get I know. the out the business. Okay. Oh. That's Just keep the peace. Shut the f up and get outside the club. With the homeless people, where you belong. The only thing I don't like about Carly is that she's too f and messy. Now she's throwing jabs at Jock, and I'm trying to figure out, damn, I thought y'all broke up. It's over. What's up, oh, hey, hi. 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 I walk in fashionably late, and I already see Keely getting into it with my girls. Luckily, I brought a special guest that's gonna shut Keely up real quick. Wow. Yeah. This is my homegirl, wow. Crystal. Look at her. Ain't she beautiful? Yeah. Thank you. Real bitches is in the building. I this is Kay Bashi's girlfriend. Oh. What's up, Keely? I have no idea who this chick is. Last time I checked, I was Kay Bashi's girlfriend. Clearly, Sierra's playing some kind of game. But she's out of her league here. Who are you? Oh, this is Shooter's oh, girlfriend. Who are you? Shooter? Who yes, is girl? Shooter. Who is that? Oh, the man who has to wear that necklace. Oh, 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 me or this year just take her purse, send it to the uh, West Coast, bring that thing down through the Midwest, and just really plant that thing on top of uh, Keely's forehead. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Atlanta. Let it go. Let it go. I got one hand. I got one hand. Y'all, I did not know that it was going to go down like this. I thought Sierra maybe was going to check her and get to say what she wanted to say. I think where I walked through was going to go down. Go! Son! Speak to me, son. Are you okay? Let's go! Get the fuck the fuck out of here! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Anything else? Any more questions? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, if I can, uh, I would like to give a little speech. I had a dream that one day all of these seats will be filled with beautiful women who need to get their hair done. <laughs> no, I'm just talking. Hey, but I appreciate everybody, man. Please have a good time. Yo, give a round of applause my boys. Okay. Thank you. My brother. Hey, you man, did it, bro. Amazing. Thank you, brother. You did it, my That's Rashida's dress? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Josh. Hey, Jasmine, how you doing? Me and Tierra cool, I ain't gonna lie. I invited her, but I didn't know Tierra was gonna bring Jazz. Why Jasmine gotta use my part in the pop up? Damn, I'm feeling like this is deja vu. You don't know me? Do I? Bro, I'm out of here, bro. Hey. I already knew you was gonna do that. Yo, well, well um, who else coming in here next? Is KD finna walk in this mother man? Everybody sees the girl. Nobody wants to talk about it. I'm feeling a vibe. I'm feeling a vibe. I'm not gonna play that so I'm not gonna stand here and act like it's okay. I don't think it's okay. I came here to talk to Rashida woman to woman so that my son's father can finally step up and be a part of his life. But she's nowhere to be found. And as usual, her friends want to attack me. I don't think either one of us knew that Kirk was going to be here. Kirk and Jock are friends, so obviously you know Kirk is going to be here. And what if she is here? Obviously we didn't, though. You just need to stop popping up. Like, do you know me? No, I don't know you. And I don't want to know you. Bitch, I don't want to know you. She's doing too much, dude. You don't want to know you. Man, don't care, bitch. Who you got that car, bitch? Hey, Tom, listen. I done came about to buy this salon up in the top cattle with these white folks. Y'all ain't about to do this. Oh, they out here ready for it. I ain't want none of y'all to go 
to jail tonight, all right? I don't have nothing to say to Jasmine. I've been sending my child support checks, so I don't know why she felt the need to pop up here. And I'm not sticking around to find out. I just got back in the house. I'm not trying to do anything to mess that up. Tia, bringing Jasmine into the fold right now, everybody feels some type of way. But why would you have a problem with me, but you don't have a problem with him? I'm just ready to go. Kirk was like, who He ain't just fucking raw. He up here ducking raw, too. Got the fuck out of it. Ain't nobody see him. But I don't blame Kirk, though. He felt the heat. I felt the heat. Nobody wanted none of that spice that was going on. I'm sorry. I did not mean to mess up your grand opening. I apologize. Thank you for the invite. I just wanted to be cool. I promise you. All right. Bye, y'all. Thank you. Yeah, have, have a good, good night. Bye, y'all, yeah, yeah, y'all. My bitch. Nobody gives a <laughs> little skinny bitch. You will do your cables. You gonna show us the move? I got plenty of the, uh, What's that move, out. Jack? You was talking about one time on the radio. Cardi had a special move. It was like some. It was the Indian. I want to see but the I Indian give a trick that he was talking about on the radio. What's up? Kurt. Come on, Kurt, man. You already know I'm skating on thin ice with Kendra ever since we jumped out the sprint and hit the cab. And now you want to bring us an old sex cafe with me and Carly? Can I, can I have a minute with my man for a minute in our room? We going to excuse ourselves. You might need some toys to go. Come on. This is a pump. Mm -hmm. And Come then, Jock, you need the long we'll be thing. Back. I know how you do. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, anyway. That's crossing boundaries. Come on. I have toys for everyone. Carly. And sit Carly, that was a lot. I am teaching a class right now. I mean, you felt like you just had to pull me away from everybody? I did, because I feel like we need to talk. On the way up here, on the bus trip, a lot of stuff came out. What do you mean stuff came out? That you was with Carly last year. That y'all went to a cabin and rented a cabin together or whenever you was on a trip. Now, I know that Carly's just trying to spread misery. I mean, because, th like, there's no truth to this, and I'm really annoyed for the simple fact that now I got to convince Kendra that I'm, like, an innocent man. Well, that ain't I no truth. Sure that's not like, that's matter. not like me and her. You should never be trip. in a room, according to her, with your genitals out, ready to have sex, and she declined. My meat never met nobody on that trip. Why would she just say that? Because okay. misery loves right, company. Then. Is she lying or is she telling the truth? Of course she is lying. Okay, Are you well, serious? Perfect. That's all I want to know. Kendra, it's all false. Yes, These are lies. I put this on my mama. Okay. I put this on my kids. And I put this on your father, rest his soul. Your name been tattooed on, on, on my genital for over a year now. She ain't see your name on it. She ain't seen it. I wanted to go so overboard to show my lady this was hers. I tattooed Kendra on my <laughs> Carly, if you saw my <laughs> you'd have saw it said Kendra right down the side of it. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know how to apologize for something I haven't done, but I apologize that you were even placed in that situation. Me and Carly, that was old news. Have you been true to me? Kendra, I have been true and I've been honest with you, baby. I'll take you that know, word you know how you make you know you know the happy you bring me. I know. I'm just letting you know I'm not playing with me. I'm not playing with you. I just don't want no problems. We, me and you, we, we better than that, Kendra. So I stand up. I'm cool, yeah. Today, we're going to be getting a consultation about snipping thy nuts. I'd rather be getting four wheels and teeth pulled while being chased by three pit bulls through the bluff. You make me feel like we doing the wrong thing or something. I'm just saying. I'm not like, hey, baby, I can't wait to get this done. I just, I, it's going to change my life, though. Hey, Hello. guys. Mark Greenstein, urology. Oh, OK, all right. Hi, Kendra Mark. Robinson. Hi. Nice to meet Mark you. Mark Greenstein. So what can I do for you guys? We're here because we want to get a vasectomy. Sure, okay. So vasectomy basically means permanent sterilization. I think I'm gonna throw up. We grab the scrotum. And then I use this little device that opens the skin about yay big. And then I go find the tube. I tie it up. I pull a piece out. Oh my God. And I burn the edges so they don't grow back together. Oh my God. I do the exact same thing on the other side. So it, any way I can examine you. What did you say? It's real easy. You just drop your pants, I take a look at your junk, and I make sure everything's where it belongs. It takes literally 20 seconds. No, 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 no. Everything that came in this package, it's 
It's properly proportioned and positioned. Doc, you need to sit your ass over there and take some of that anesthesia you've been giving your patients because you got me up. How do you feel about it, Jocelyn? Are you okay? I don't. I'm just not feeling it. Why don't I step out? You guys talk. I feel like it's selfish. If you really love me, if you really want to consider my body, my mind, my soul, and the longevity of our relationship, then you will at least put forth some type of effort. And I feel like maybe he's getting cold feet. So you don't want to do it, Jocelyn? No. How about you do it? Do you want to have more children? Not so you want to have child number nine and ten. Hey, let me explain. So you can figure out how to have time for those children, like you're trying to find so what, okay, time have, to have for the look, children you already have. I think that's cruel. Why are you saying like I don't be for the death of my kids? No, you are there. So for don't your say children, it like that. But what I'm saying is Do that. Do not say it like hey, that. I'm not trying to be irresponsible with my reproduction. Well, I'm not trying. I'm trying to be irritated today here talking about this. See, this is not the same kids I proposed to. She's coming for my manhood, my fatherhood. Maybe she does need to get out of birth control, because this is what her hormones do. But all I know is I ain't with it. You want to get it done? You go do that okay. I'm not with I'm cool on it. Hey, Ju, do me a favor. Get the ladder and put it right now, because we need to turn the other light on. Today, I'm giving a little love and attention to my newest baby, my club. Club South Beach. And when I tell you this is a sexy spot, you better believe it when I tell you. I wanted to make people say, South Beach, where is that? Y'all got a beach in Atlanta? Not a beach, but we got South Beach. You dig what I'm saying? Hey. Ooh. Well, well, well. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Today, I invited some homies whom opinion I trust. So I definitely wanted to let them see it firsthand to give me their take on it. Is this real water up in here? Hell, yeah, bottom TV. Hey. Nice now. Well, I got y'all here, listen. You know, we're just kind of doing some different stuff, trying to figure out, you know, the menu, the full menu. Oh, y'all cooking in here? Yeah, we got big kitchen. We got gourmet chef, everything. OK, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all want to try these wings? Drops Club is cute or whatever, but I'm really here on my own agenda. I like light like skin Keisha, and I want her a part of the group. But I can't be having her in the group with her and Bam beefing. I'm hoping that I can get light skin Keisha and the Bam in the room with each other, and they see their differences out, and we can keep it moving with life. Wait, y'all, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. I invited Bam and Scrappy. Now, she kind of know good and well that Bam and Scrappy don't <laughs> with light skin Keisha like that. But I don't need these people here fighting and tearing up my brand new club before we even open for business. I was hoping that you all could clear the air. So we get awkward from here on out. Bam say you took her friend man, which is him. I was with band friend for like a year and a half. I left because it wasn't working no more. I outgrew the situation. Y'all around here talking about a young bitch like me is, is taking your man? That's clownery. I'm finna try one of these wins. I'm finna try one. I'm gonna make your science. Y'all doing this to stop the conversation, what we talking about? I'm about just saying. Clearly, the friend. Because they don't want to talk. Because that's what men do. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to stop this conversation. Because I can see right now, everybody getting worked up and riled up like, nah. The only heat I want to hear is from my chef and these gourmet hot wings, man. This is mine, OK? I don't give a f about none of that other f That can go up. That d can go. I don't play. <laughs> I'm going to war. Because I make her She going to war, right? That d going to war about that d Why his relationship ended got nothing to do with me. Rule number one, you don't ever come at the woman. You always address the man, period. But due to the simple fact that I am who I am, a little hottie with a body, they want to come at a bitch. And I just want you and Bam to get along. I mean, but I don't know her to have a problem with her. So if she has a problem with me, then that's her problem. One thing I learned about life, everybody ain't gonna rock with you. And that's just what it is. And apparently, Keisha don't rock with Bambi and Scrappy. But you know what? Whatever they beef is, that's they beef. It got nothing to do with me. Like, you gonna want a chicken wing? I don't want it. Yes, you do. Man, they feel like my ass gonna be on fire. I can just look at that ass working. Oh, hey, y'all. Y'all came through. Of course, we did. Shekana invited me over to Jock's Club because she told me Keisha and Coca wanted to clear the air. The only thing I'm coming to do is let Shekinah know and let Keisha know that I don't with her and I never will. Period. I can't comply. Yeah. How you doing, sister? Come up. Let's see you blew out. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to do something. You got blew out. So look, y'all. Let me introduce y'all to my friends. Scrappy you know us. Scrappy. What's happening? How you, you know what's up. I wanted y'all to meet. That's OK. It's okay. I mean, I'd just rather not. And I would rather not either. 
okay, so we won't. But wait, y'all, wait, 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 stop, stop, y'all. You coming in here acting like you, you I know facts. I ain't acting like nothing. Yes, you do. Like You're y'all. acting like you know facts. And you don't know the story. How we gonna get to the bottom of this All of us talk, but we can't. And it's so much animosity okay, so already. It's it is cool. animosity. Because that's how you walk in. Because I don't with you and I don't You don't know me, but not me. And I never Whatever you win, I'm with it. I don't I don't win it. I'm sin, baby. Hey, man, I'm just trying to figure out Shakona's thoughts about this, man. Why are you inviting these two chicks who don't <laughs> with each other to my new club? Let them meet up at your house. I don't <laughs> with bitches who <laughs> with That's not my fault that she couldn't keep her <laughs> And obviously, if it don't you go away, it, it, it ain't about her not being able to keep no <laughs> It's about some real <laughs> disloyal <laughs> going on. Don't come in here acting like you know what the you talking about and you don't. Why we can't be grown? You don't gotta f with me. Wait, I will never. Wait, you don't have to f with me. Bitch, go get them gums there. That's what you need to go do. I don't do hood squirrels. She's a hood squirrel. Baby, my rent costs more than what the f you got on, baby. Please, cut it out. Move around. I understand where Bambi coming from, because once upon a time, there were women trying to take Scrappy away from her. So I could definitely feel her not messing with the home record type of woman. Keisha, I rock with you, but I don't need to know what's going on behind closed doors. Oh, this is, this is kind of awkward. Ugh. Thank you. The club is amazing. And I'm going to get the f- on, because I just can't. Hey, guys, it's your girl, Carly Red. Subscribe to VH1's new Love & Hip Hop YouTube channel to keep up with me in Atlanta. <laughs>